Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Jaclyn Hill closing Jaclyn Roxanne and Cozy. Um, I saw this video come up and I thought we might as well talk about it because I feel like we've talked about Jaclyn before, we've talked about big events in the beauty space and um, I wanted to share my thoughts because I don't think, gosh, I feel like I'm being mean by saying some of this stuff, but like what happened with her stealing a, a brand name. Um, if you are new here, hello, my name is Anna. I upload about four to five videos a week and I talk about all things beauty. Um, I will have everything listed and linked down below. <laughs> I am going to be using some Jaclyn Cosmetics. I've kind of hit the jackpot at TJ Maxx recently and um, I also walked into a Morphe closing sale as well so yeah so we're gonna start out with the morphe and meredith duxbury foaming face primer this actually wore really well um and i want to try it again it still weirds me out because this is literally a foam um jacqueline uploaded a video and she talked about how she was done being a brand owner now it has come out and I've spoken on this before that Jaclyn is not actually the CEO of Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, I will link that video for you down below and Morphe owns her brand. So <laughs> um, there, were so, there was some dishonesty there um, with her followers that she told everyone that you were buying from a family owned business and it turns out you weren't, you were buying from. Jaclyn does have a history of being dishonest mainly posting when she has to sell something and she shared about that in the video so um she talked about how you know how the lipstick situation still haunts her and whatnot but what i think is interesting is that she just posted recently you know, when everyone says your lipsticks are contaminated and you still use them or whatever and I, it was just like just like not the way to handle that kind of situation make you look very good especially when you have millions upon millions of followers look really weird i didn't pump enough foundation for the rest of my face jacqueline said that in the, in the coming months she will be shutting the doors of cozy and jacqueline roxanne um and that she started these brands because her lipstick launch went so poorly and that she felt like she needed to show everyone that she was capable instead of pouring her heart into cosmetics and i think it's really interesting that she says cosmetics and not jacqueline cosmetics because she is not the owner which there's nothing wrong with that I, I, i'm gonna say that right now there's nothing wrong with you know basically a brand incubator like morphe take care of everything for you there's nothing wrong with that what is wrong with it is not telling the truth so i'm using anastasia uh, magic touch concealer literally one of my favorites it looks like she does have some launches coming out and then soon after that you know everything's going to be going on deep deep clearance and she's gonna be done with it. So that kind of leads me into Cozy. So we all know that she basically took a, a, the name Cozy from a Canadian creator. Her name is Kaylin Nicholson. And she had it, she had this whole like brand. It wasn't trademarked or anything, but it was called All Things Coz, but it was spelled the same. And it was in the same area. It, she had a podcast, she had like, I think like online yoga classes, like it was a whole vibe, right? And Eklund, you know, took that name, she trademarked it, and then, you know, and she didn't, you know, mention it. She didn't address it. And I found that interesting, but I also thought, you know, oh, maybe there's some something, you know, legally, maybe she can't address it. I don't know. She said in a video a couple months ago, and I think I talked about this too, um, but she was doing a get ready with me and she was talking about a brush she's like um whatever brush tm <laughs> at least they trademarked it ha 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 and everyone thought that was a real big dig at kaylin which i think it was it's not okay to steal the name and she talked about that how you know you know her, oh her trademark attorney said all right go ahead and do it uh, it's all yours but she also didn't do her research and if i were in that situation you know i'm probably never gonna open my own brand <laughs> honest with you I'd probably not but I don't know I feel like I would 
maybe do a little more research. I don't know. I don't know what I would do in that situation. I, I really cannot relate because I'll probably never have my own beauty brand. What's difficult was that she said, oh, I didn't know about Kaylin until after we made all the purchase orders, after everything was ordered, and then I reached out to her. Well, Kaylin's side of the story is quite different, and, you know, Jacqueline unfortunately has the history of being dishonest, which, ugh, it sucks because it's like, I don't know, I'm the kind of person that's like, I want to trust everyone, and I find it difficult to hear, oh my gosh, look how much blush that is. It, I find it difficult to hear something like that and then her be so dishonest about it so it, it's it's hard but to, for her to say you know oh I, I didn't know until after the POs I really don't think you did I I don't believe you because you have a history of lying so we're gonna fix this also my <laughs> my iPad is connected to my phone in terms of like iMessages so my iPad will of course ding when I have a text message as well as my phone. That was really distasteful and I I don't know I think there are other reasons you know why she's closing these brands I don't think they're doing very well um, but I really don't think Cozy is doing very well because of all the backlash. I mean think about it if you heard all this backlash of this brand like oh you know this huge creator stole from a smaller influencer would you want to support that brand? That No I wouldn't and plus her stuff was incredibly expensive she was selling um, blankets for over a hundred dollars and two pairs of socks for like 30 bucks and it was definitely Lux you know it wasn't something that I was gonna purchase that's not really uh, you know if I wanted something like that I'd go to like TJ Maxx you know um, so I think that also that's a more luxury market than a lot of people would be willing to purchase especially in today's economy on top of that um, also, Jacqueline Roxanne, I'm going to be honest, I think her jewelry, whether, it, I, I know it's supposed to be affordable, but like $70 for a necklace, that's a lot of money. If I'm going to get a necklace, I'm going to go to TJ Maxx <laughs> or Target or whatever, you know. So I think those, the price ranges on a lot of that stuff was really over what some people could purchase, could afford. And I mean, I, could I afford it? Sure. But I don't want to spend that kind of money on jewelry. She then talked about Jaclyn Cosmetics and we all know, which I have already said, she doesn't own the brand and she said that she has done the bare minimum of being a CEO and that is because of the lipstick launch. You know, I am not one to dog on someone's mental health. I understand that mental health is, can sometimes be physically debil de debilitating and I've been there. I've been there recently. What I don't like is that she's not the CEO. I zoomed up just a little bit because I need to do brows. You know, some of the stuff she was saying, I was like, you know, that's not even true because you don't own the company. And that she said her relationship with Ulta has not, uh, she's done the bare minimum with it. And that she's got a launch coming out this month for Jaclyn Cosmetics. She also doesn't know the future of that brand. I find that interesting too because you know, I in the court doc, Jen Loves Reviews did this amazing video where she kind of broke down the Forma bankruptcy case. You know, she did a fantastic job and <laughs> she's going to do a way better job at that than I would explaining that. So go check her videos out. But she was saying that she's been doing the bare minimum, but in those documents, she is noted as a collaborator. She was not a former CEO, COO, anything like that. She's a collaborator. So I don't really know, you know, in that deal, obviously we probably won't know what the extent of her job responsibilities are as a collaborator with Jacqueline Cosmetics. Does she have anything to do with the Ulta partnership? I, I don't know, you know? and. Honestly, maybe that's none of our business. I don't know how, you know, what the bare minimum is of the bare minimum because there is so much dishonesty that makes sense. It's sad because I know how hard it is to get an Ulta. So many indie brands and smaller brands want to get into Ulta, but they can't because you have to literally pay for your space there. But you have to pay for your space. That 
is not just free retail space that Too Faced gets to um, have in there or Lancome gets to have their whole big thing or Mac. They don't get that for free. They have to legit pay for it. You know, if she's not meeting, you know, purchase orders, if she's not meeting um, the expectations in her contract or the brand is not, I should say, they could remove her like that because there are other brands that would pay big money to be in her spot. So I'm curious because I've seen a, a few of her items on sale recently. I love the Ulta website, by the way. <laughs> um, but I have seen some items on sale and um, I know she did a big sale. She was part of the big Ulta sale for National Lipstick Day, which was honestly, that's really cool to be a part of that. Just set my face with a baby Mac Fix Plus. Other than that, I don't know what to think. You know, I feel like she's broken the trust of many and it sucks because I feel like in my heart of hearts, I want to believe her, but I can't. And I do know in the form of bankruptcy filing, they had, Jen said that they had mentioned something about how they want to focus more on their brand and not so much influencer brands. And she had noted in one of her videos, the bankruptcy case, Forma said they wanted to focus on Morphe brushes. I'm not gonna say all of it because I don't remember all of it. They wanted to focus on Morphe brushes, Morphe 2, a few other brands or whatever, and Charlie D'Amelio's um, Born Dreamer. That was it. Um, Jaclyn Cosmetics was not listed as something that they might want to focus on. Um, the new CEOs um, are really wanting to revive uh, Morphe as a brand, which I think business-wise, that's really smart because Morphe and Morphe 2, I think are their biggest brands. So if you have a limited budget, they're coming out of a bankruptcy. You know, they probably don't have the funds. They probably lost a lot of their customers. How are they gonna build it back? They need to attract new ones. They need to attract the old ones. So it, logistically, it's smart. Um, for Jaclyn Cosmetics, it's it's a little terrifying because it's like, okay, well, what's gonna happen? You now, I always hope for the best in people and whatnot, like I've said, and I hope that things go her way um, because she says she's worked years and years on it. And if you've watched her for years and years, she's mentioned it. I'm not here to say that I want to see her fail because I don't want to see anyone fail. I hope that she succeeds, but I also hope that she learns from this too. I hope that she learns that well, maybe I need to start being honest to my fans. Maybe I need to start posting videos. Cause I used to be a fan of Jacqueline Hill. I did. Um, I remember back in 2018, I was touring some grad schools. Um, I've talked about this before, but I used to be a music major and I wanted to pursue music. Remember, we were gonna be out of town, um, Logan and I were gonna be out of town that day um, touring a grad school in Illinois. And I knew that the vault collection was coming out that day. And I asked him, can we please go to that, go to Ulta and get it? And I did. And, you know, I have, I'm, I wasn't her biggest fan. Okay, I'm gonna say that right now. I wasn't her biggest fan. I was more of a Tati Westbrook kind of girl. But I did like Jaclyn Hill. Um, she was someone I watched always. I got a lot of my techniques from her. People will be like, oh my gosh, how do you blend your eyeshadow like that? And I'm like, Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill taught me what I know. To see her kind of go down this route of dishonesty, and it ultimately made me not be a fan of her anymore because I, I I really see honesty as a very big thing when I watch somebody. Only a couple years ago, I was making 12 bucks an hour and I would watch people and I would really trust their reviews and items because I didn't have a lot of money. I do not wish ill will on Jacqueline by any means. I hope that she learns from this and I hope that she grows. But if I'm gonna be real with you, I don't anticipate that there is gonna be a huge shift with her. I don't think she's gonna come back uploading two or three times a week. I really don't think there's gonna be a lot of change from this. You know, I'm not one of her haters. I'm a former fan that ultimately 
was disappointed by some of her actions. You know, I was kind of always pretty neutral on Jaclyn Hill. Um, I knew the vault collection wasn't her fault because, you know, she's a collaborator. The, it was Morphe's fault <laughs> in the end. It was Morphe's fault. It was not Jaclyn's fault. With the lipsticks, it was Morphe's fault. And, you know, if she would have been honest, she might have not taken as much of the heat as um, she would have if she wasn't honest. If she was honest. I'm gonna do a pink here because we're gonna go see Barbie tonight. You know, I actually unfollowed Jacqueline on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but she posts a lot of like Amazon links, but I, I know she gets heavily criticized for because it feels like she's always pushing a product. I just don't see her changing the way she is. I think she will still upload once a month. I think she'll still be trying to push product. I wanna hear what you guys think about this. Um, do you think it was a long time coming? Do you, were you shocked? Um, let me know. Um, but kind of going back to the cozy situation, I think it was a really crappy move in order to do something like that. You need to have her brand shut down in less than a year. You couldn't have picked any other name. I mean, it's a cute name, cozy, K-O-Z-E. I think it's cute. But if it's taken, it's taken. And if that's, even if it wasn't trademarked, if someone has their whole brand built around that, like, don't be a jerk. Don't take what's not yours, is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. I think especially with Jack and Roxanne, there's, she's coming out with so many launches. It just feels like every month there's a new launch. You know, but she, again, with Jack and Roxanne, she's been accused of stealing designs and doing other unethical things like at some point you just have to do you others ideas might be so awesome but also she just lost all of her credibility because of this it also still shocks me that people will still support her after all of that like she literally stole from another creator and you're out here reviewing Jacqueline Roxanne like I I just I think it's crazy and I don't mean to be rude but I think it's crazy how some of her fans will literally support her through anything and everything. She does have a lot of stuff out at TJ Maxx and I have found quite a few of her products there. I actually just bought this blush <laughs> because I want to try her stuff but her stuff is actually kind of pricey. Um, so I got this like luminous rouge blush in the shade Love Poem. Then I got a lip cushion in the shade Promise. And I found this Give by Gwen Stefani Lightweight Longwear Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tomboy. So, very cool. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Again, this video is not to, you know, talk crap about Jacqueline. It's not to dog on her. It's just to show the honesty behind it. So, that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, leave your thoughts in the comments down below and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.